Hey folks, Kip Adams from QDMA here. I'm going to show you the proper technique for pulling a jawbone from a deer you harvested so that you have that age data and can make some good management decisions from it. The two pieces of equipment you need, you need a pair of lopping shears to be able to cut the jawbone and you need a jawbone extractor. This is a great one because it is curved at the end, which makes it a lot easier to get into that jawbone. It's actually pressed where you can push through the part that you actually cut. I've seen these handmade. I've seen them made out of rebar. They all work, but you get one like this. certainly makes this task a whole lot easier. So we'll go ahead here. I'm going to flip this deer over, show you the proper technique for getting this jawbone out. All right, folks. Now envision this is how this jawbone lays in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this jawbone extractor to push in the mouth and separate all of the cheek from the along the side of this jawbone. And you can see how this we have to make sure that as we push this in, we get this all the way past it. So all that meat is separated. Then we're going to take our lopping shears, come in and actually cut this jawbone right there. Get it cut good. Take our jawbone extractor, push it right through where we cut. Actually hook around the bottom of the jaw and then pull it out and it will separate all that meat off. So if you can envision that jawbone laying about like that, then we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how we're actually going to get it out. All right, folks, the first thing is we're actually going to separate the jaw from the skin on the side. So I will push this all the way down. And remember, the jaw is going to come up and run in here. I'm going to push this as far past it as I can. And this is the important part. If you don't get it past the jaw, you'll never be able to get it cut through the way you want. So push it all the way to the ground. You can rock that back and forth to ensure that that cheek is separated from the jawbone. I'm going to go ahead and take my lopping shears and stick them in. And remember, the way that jawbone laid, we actually want to cut right through about there. And then we will hook our extractor through it to pull it out. So I'm going to cut the jawbone all the way at the back, being careful not to break any of the teeth. And now I will take the jawbone extractor, put it in. I'm actually going to push it right through what I just cut, hook around the bottom. You can use your finger to help guide it if you want. Pull forward. Pop it right out. As you can see, this does not this does not hurt anything on here. If this is a buck that you're headed to the taxidermist with or people say, I don't want to tear anything up. Look, that has not hurt it a single bit. You can still take this and have it mounted. Hasn't hurt a thing. We have the jawbone out. Now, it's very easy to take a rag, clean it up. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of meat on here. Dry it off. Cut the major piece of meat off. Take a Sharpie, label it the deer number. We'll say this is deer number one from this year. Number one, store this outside. All of the data from this deer, the weight, the lactation status, everything else, the data was killed, will go in our logbook under deer number one. We'll store these outside in a wire basket. At the end of the season, we'll get all, all the together and actually be able to go then estimate age for these deer. For more information on deer, whether it's pulling jaw bones, collecting data, managing deer, or anything deer related, go to QDMA.com and check us out. And remember, at QDMA, where we measure success in memories, not inches of antler.